Hello YouTube and welcome to another Voxel Engine Update video. I'm pretty excited about this episode and I hope you guys are too. I've got three things to show you. We'll start with the least interesting. And the least interesting feature is that the stars now rotate with the sun. All I did was basically make the skybox rotate uh, the same angle that the sun does. Um, and speaking of the skybox, I think it looks pretty terrible. So. If any of you Photoshop gurus out there or GIMP gurus know how to make a good skybox um, that you know doesn't have obvious corners and has some pretty cool stars and things like that, please let me know and uh, I would be forever in your debt if you could help me make a good looking skybox. Um, okay, so moving on, uh, I now have voxel lighting as opposed to just regular you know static lighting stuff. So now I can place uh, torches or other light sources and they will propagate light outward and illuminate the darkness. There's also a sunlight level, so the sunlight levels will actually overpower the torch levels because it's a little brighter. So you'll see it at, you know, at night time the torches kind of come out. I need to make the transition a little better. Uh, when I implement a smooth lighting with uh, some fake ambient occlusion, it should make it look a lot better. You won't get these obvious light level indicators here. It'll be just nice and smooth. If you ever played Minecraft, their current lighting model is pretty much what I'm going for. Of course I'm trying to make it much faster though. Right now I have it to where placing a light takes only 0 to 1 milliseconds and removing it takes an average of I think 2 milliseconds. The only real time overhead is having to rebuild the meshes. And if you're noticing it's pretty much instant even on the border of chunks the, uh, the light updates are. Um, and you may also notice that we have caves now. This one isn't really a cave. Ah, here we go. The caves will not be illuminated by sunlight because they are underground, of course, and the sunlight can't reach them from the upper blocks. Uh, I use a regular, I started using a regular three dimensional noise function for the caves, but there were some problems with that uh, because we, I had way too many large chambers, not enough small connecting passages so I just did a little bit of tweaking uh, well, a lot of t tweaking actually and I've come up with this kinda of shape for the caves and I, I kinda like it it's the caves aren't endless they they usually have an end um, but there's also some very big cave systems out there that have tons of connecting parts um, there's obviously there's some isolated little cave things little bits of air in here but that's not really a problem as long as the caves are connected I'm happy um, so yeah that's pretty much all I have to show you guys today uh, there is something I want to talk about it's the triangle merging I actually imp uh, improved the triangle merging to handle any block before I had to basically have a separate texture for each block I wanted to merge so I can only have like five or six mergeable blocks because I didn't want to have you know thousands of textures uh, it's better to have a texture atlas so I just came up with a way to use the shader programs to make textures in a texture atlas tileable. So now pretty much all textures will merge their triangles. Uh, the only ones that won't right now, or the only one that won't, is water. And that's because I just, it's just kind of too complicated. The water, um, the water geometry is just really complicated itself. Let's see if I can find some water. I need a better way to use select blocks. There we go. If I go into wireframe mode, probably isn't helping a whole lot. You'll notice that the triangles on the water aren't merging. However, if you look here, like this long row of blocks right here, they become two blocks. And since any blocks can merge, I can place dirt, unless I'm on the edge of a chunk, which I am. Here we go. If I place dirt here, they will merge and basically just become one giant dirt cube and it, it saves a ton of bandwidth bandwidth, and really speeds up the game. Uh, the only problem with this is that the only way for the triangles to merge is that all uh, data for the surface blocks needs to be pretty much the same. So if I take a light and place it near the block you'll notice that it no longer merges the faces because there are different light levels on each face. So merging them would result in some really unpredictable, ugly looking textures. So as long as you don't have a lot of just torches lying around, the geometry should still be pretty, pretty good looking. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll try to keep you guys updated 
uh, as much as I can. I'm going to start working on inventory and crafting soon, probably after I do smooth lighting. Um, so just, you know, stay tuned, guys, and uh, y'all have a good day. Be sure to like and subscribe.